So, my question to you is, do you remember where you were when you first heard that yellow powder was the best makeup powder or the best colored makeup powder for dark skin tone? Do, do you remember where you were? Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I am here today with Naked Brows to talk about makeup powders or setting powders or translucent powders or whatever kind of powders that we need to make our makeup look flawless. And I am talking about this in specific relation to dark skin or at least. The first time I heard about yellow powder being the best powder for dark skin tone was I literally think it was such a cosmetics and it was, yeah. Okay, so since then I have religiously, I went and I bought such a cosmetics bought a cup. So fast forward to a little bit ago when I found out about RCMA powder and I got that because I was thinking it's no color, I can bake with it, whatever. No, you know, it, it looked good when I just lightly set my face, but I think if I bake with, uh, with RCMA, it will literally not look right on me. So I, I don't bake, okay? And then I found out about the Airspun powder, which I just set my foundations with. And then there was the Beauty Bakery powder, which I think is too light for my skin tone. I know there are dark setting powders like Laura Mercier, but your girl ain't rolling in dough like that. So I wasn't gonna go spend money on that. <laughs> After that Beauty Bakery uh, and Sasha Cosmetics um, comparison video, I decided to go ahead and invest in powders that I can actually use on my face and bake my face with that it won't look ashy on me. So, website and I went to their Ben Nye section and I literally got almost every single translucent powder that Ben Nye has to offer. And I also got two of their setting powders, two of their powders that was not translucent powder. So these are the stuff that I got from them. Okay, these are all the powders I got from them. So in the line or in the range of the Ben Nye powders, I did not get the fair powder and the super white powder because obviously there is nothing those two powders can do for me, right? But what I got from them was I got the colorless powder, which is a neutral set. My light's really bright, so I just put it somewhere closer to me so that it, um... So I got the neutral set, and that is a white powder, obviously, but it says it's a neutral color powder, so I'll try this out, too. I got, in no particular order, the pink powder, because somebody on my, on my video that day suggested that maybe the pink powder might be good for, um, for dark skin. So I got the pink powder so we can try that out. And then I got Sienna to insert a swatch of these powders on my skin tone. And then you guys can decide, you know, what you like. And this is the Luxury Powder and this is the shade Topaz. And I'll put Topaz next to Sienna so you can see. Topaz is slightly, um, I don't want to say paler, but I think that in comparison to Topaz, Sienna is more, is reddish and, uh, and Topaz is golden. Okay, but Topaz is not a translucent setting powder. And then I got their banana powder, which, I mean, let's just compare that to Topaz. You can see that the banana powder is really, really pale compared to Topaz. So this will not be good for dark skin. So I'm just gonna toss this. So I'm just gonna toss this. I got Coco Tan, which Coco Tan is very, very red. Coco Tan has a very, very, very red undertone and it is, um, I don't want to say pale, but it is very red compared to Sienna. It's not picking up on camera exactly how red Coco Tan is, but Coco Tan is a really, really reddish uh, powder and Sienna is not as red as Coco Tan. So Coco Tan is redder than Sienna. These two powders, this is chestnut, and I think chestnut will be a really, really beautiful um, setting powder for our concealed areas. And this will be, an ebony will be a good powder for like an all over face setting kind of. So you can use ebony to try to, uh, to dust out chestnut, but I think chestnut is the powder that we can actually bake with and not look crazy. And ebony, is the powder that we can use to clean out chestnut and just have it look beautifully blended. 
or you can actually just use this to set your whole face or other areas of your face and if you are darker than me in any way shape or form you could probably use ebony to set your concealer depending on what shade concealer you use you know the point is to look flawless and blended and balanced without looking without looking too ashy okay so i am going to literally test out all these powders i will put swatches of all the powders in this video and i will also upload it to my instagram and my snapchat for those that are now going to watch this video so they can see it and yeah let's get to this concealer whatever so i'm gonna go should i just do natural brows today okay guys so i'm gonna go uh set up my brows and i'll come back Okay guys, so I went ahead and applied my base and I am going to go ahead and set my foundation with the Benai Neutral Set Colorless Powder. And I'm doing it this way because I usually just use um, colorless powders or um, like light powders, well, essentially colorless powders or translucent colorless powders to set my, my foundation. So depending on what this looks like on my foundation, we will know whether it's really truly colorless or not. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it. I'm using the Morphe Y6 brush and that's the same brush I use, same brush I use to blend out my foundation. Okay, so this side of my face is set with the colorless powder and this side is not. Can you tell the difference? I mean, other than this part of my face looks more, I'm gonna say matte, but it's not really matte. It's just, it looks slightly different compared to the side of my face. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face. Okay guys, so this is what the Benai colorless neutral set powder gives us and what do you guys think? God, oh my god, you guys, oh my god, I'm freaking out! Okay guys, so I have over here the Ebony, Ebony Translucent Powder and I feel like it actually matches my skin tone really, really well. So on my skin tone, it is not brightening, it's not as brightening as the chestnut. However, chestnut is like the perfect shade. <laughs> chestnut is the perfect shade powder because it matches my concealer to the T. So it doesn't make me look ashy, as you can tell. It actually literally matches my concealer. My mind is freaking blown right now. Like, my mind is blown. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the Pretty Pink setting powder. I don't have high hopes for this because it is a pink powder, but somebody suggested a pink powder will work well for dark um, skin tone. Like, So I'm gonna try this out. Wow. Okay. Okay. Okay, you guys. It, it, it doesn't look bad. Okay, so I'm going to set my nose, the middle section of my face, with Sienna.
Okay, guys, so I'm gonna put Coco Tan on my forehead. I will tell you, I don't think this will look any good, so don't blame me if it doesn't come out good, okay? <laughs> oh, my lips need moisture. Let me moisturize my lips before we continue because this is interesting. I'm still gonna finish my face. Okay, so this is chestnut. This is pretty pink. This is ebony. This is sienna. And this is cocoa tan, okay? I'm surprised at how this powder looks, okay? I honestly thought that Pretty Pink will look super fucking ashy. Excuse my language. I thought that Coco Tan was going to be bright as hell. These two powders have, um, have shocked me. They have, I guess, disproven my my prejudgment of them. Chestnut has really blown my socks off, which means my shoes went with it. Coco Tan, I feel like on a natural neutral day, it would be the perfect face powder. Sienna, I don't really like because I can see the, um, what is it called? I can slightly see like a, like a cast on Sienna. But Coco Tan, unless it's because my, my nose is contoured, I think that's probably why I can see Sienna more on my face. But Coco Tan has disappeared also. So for the next test, I am going to go ahead and bake all the areas that I, that I have the powders on with the specific individual powders that I used on them. And then we're gonna brush it off and see what our faces look like. I You guys, I put a lot of powder on here. It's still on there, but it matches my skin tone so really perfectly. It looks like there's nothing there, but there's something there. Trust me. Okay, you guys, so my face is, well, at least my eyes are done. I might not just finish this whole thing. Okay, guys, so my eyes are done. So it has been probably a little bit over five minutes since I put this powder on my face. I'm gonna go ahead and brush it off. And to do that, I am using, to do that, I'm using the Y2 brush. 
and I will just use the same brush to brush everything off. Maybe, I don't know. So I'm gonna brush off chestnut first. So let me ask you a question. If you're as if you're as dark as me, have you ever baked and not looked ashy? Wow. This powder is shocking me. This pink powder is really super shocking me. So this is the part where I put ebony. With Ebony. <laughs> you guys, I, I'm telling you, chestnut is our perfect highlighting color and ebony is our perfect everyday color. Like, look at this. Look at this flawlessness. Oh my God. <laughs> I know, if, no, if you've never seen me this excited on my channel, this is exciting as hell because It is very difficult to find powders that work on our skin tone. I have never seen anybody do this kind of video yet, so I didn't know where to look. But I'm really glad I did that comparison video between the two powders that I did, and I'm very, very happy that somebody asked me what powder was red enough for their skin tone. Because if they hadn't asked me that question, I hadn't done that video and realized, okay, there has to be something better out there, I wouldn't have known to turn to Ben Nye to go try to find powders that would match my skin. I didn't even know Ben Nye had powders deep enough to match my skin tone. Okay, you guys, so looking at this, I am going to go ahead and apply some lipstick. I'm going to set my face with some finishing spray and I will come back and we will just talk about this. Let me know down below in the comments um, if you want to see a tutorial on this eye look because I did not film it. But it is from this palette. It's called, it's from Zuri Cosmetics and this is what it looks like on the inside. My setting spray is done, people. It's done. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. I have five different, there's five different? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six different powders on my face right now. I have the neutral set to set my foundation, which was absolutely fucking flawless. <clears throat> and then I have chestnut on this side of my face. Okay, and I have ebony on this side of my face. Dude, I'm, 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 I'm in love with ebony, okay? I am in love with this powder. This, this powder right here, I am, I am floored by it. Like, I feel like it, it has a, wow. I have, I have pretty pink on my chin, which I thought was going to look powdery. I thought it was going to give me a white ghostly appearance, but it actually looks really, really good. It's literally undetectable. Like it is, it looks really good on my chin. It looks really, really good. It didn't make it too bright. It didn't make it too dark. It kind of sort of acted like a colorless powder for some odd reason. It looks really good. And then I have Coco Tan on my forehead, which I also thought Coco Tan was going to be too bright for my face. Okay, now the only one that I say is too standoutish on my face is Sienna. 
I put sienna on the top of my lips and on my nose, on the bridge of my nose, and I think that it is. It could be because my nose is highlighted. That could be the reason why, but I, I don't know how I feel about sienna, you guys. I feel like I can use one, two, three, four, five powders on my face. I feel like I can use these five powders on my face and I would be good. Let me know down below in the comments if you like how Sienna looks on me because I don't know how I feel about it yet. It could be because it's on my nose and I really fucking hate a really sharp nose contour. But guys, I have six powders. One, two, three, four, five. I have six powders on my face. None of these powders have left me looking ghostly. None of these powders are yellow powders. Okay, none of these powders are yellow powders. None of these powders are yellow powders. So, if nothing at all, if nothing at all on this video, you have to share this video to every single dark skinned girl that you know out there because the thing that is killing our makeup is the setting powder. Because I feel like sometimes I, I have a flawless base and I set my face and I'm like, I that something has changed about this you know today it has dawned on me that if my powder wasn't looking good and making my skin look flawless then anything else that i put on top of it was just going to intensify that whitish ghostly look you know what i mean so i have six different powders on my face you guys that is all i'm saying six different powders and none of them is a yellow powder so i ask you again do you remember the first time you heard that yellow setting powder was a dark skinned girl's best friend? Because today, realizing that I was told a lie, I am not using a yellow setting powder ever again. Let me know down below in the comments which of these powders you like best on my face. I absolutely love ebony because it has given me this beautiful finish. And after that is chestnut because it gives me the bright, the brightness I need to match my chest. After that is the pink setting powder because that pink powder has literally shooketh me. It has me shooketh right now. After that is cocoa tan because I had, I discounted cocoa tan, but it, 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 yeah, cocoa tan came to show out. And then there is Sienna, which is my least favorite of the whole thing. I don't know why. Maybe because it's a little more yellow than red. I don't know. But I do know that my two favorite powders are Ebony and Chestnut because it gives me, Chestnut gives me, I, I literally set my face with this powder and I don't look ghostly. I set my face with all the powders and I don't look ghostly. I set my face with this and you couldn't even tell I set my face with it. I set my face with this and it made it, it remained the same. That's it. That is all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you will subscribe. I really hope you will share my videos. Okay, guys, so that is all I have to say. Watch this video, figure out which one will work best for you. I have said it a few times that I think that Coco Tan is really red and it would be good for anybody with a reddish undertone. I know looking at it, you won't see it, but it's a really, it's redder than um than sienna and these two are my absolute favorite chestnut and ebony and this pink setting powder has super surprised me so thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you come back to see my other videos and i'll see you guys in my next one